Hey everyone, today I'm going to quickly show you how to do a few things on your Windows XP computer to clean it up and optimize it. These steps would be very handy uh, for you to try before you go out and decide to buy a new computer just because your computer is running slow. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to uninstall old programs on your system. If you have been installing software for a while and you realize that you may not be using some of those software now, this would be the first thing to try because old software not only take hard drive space, it could also be running in the background of your computer and also slowing your computer down when it starts up and when you're trying to do some tasks, okay? So to uninstall a program, you go into the control panel. So click on start, control panel and you'll come into what is called the category view as you see right here and you see the add remove programs is listed right there you might also see the classic view which is a different view of the same icons so you see add remove programs right there okay I'm gonna switch back to the category view click on add remove programs and here what what the computer will do is it'll quickly make a list of all the programs that is installed now, if you have a lot of programs installed, this screen may not look like this for a couple of seconds. It might look blank. Just be patient. Give your computer some time to uh, create the list of software. Before you just go and run off and uninstall every single program that you think is not necessary, make sure you verify that it's not a Microsoft or Windows related software. How you do that is you select any one of these uh, software that's installed on here. In this case, I'm going to select Microsoft Security Essentials. Now, I know it's from Microsoft, but I'll show you how you can figure it out. You click on Support Information right there, so you get this window. And you can see that the publisher is Microsoft, okay? So that's one way of figuring it out besides the obvious name that is on the software. Here you see this is from Oracle, which is another major software company and you see Windows Media and if you click on that you'll see that it's also okay going to the Microsoft so uh, that's how you know that a software is let's say from Microsoft or from some other manufacturer so all you have to do is select the software and click remove or in some cases you will see change and remove and then follow the on-screen instructions once again I warn you just be careful before you go ahead and uninstall a certain piece of software so that's how you uninstall software. Now I'm going to show you how you can do a few things like delete temporary files and do some registry optimization and disable programs that start up on your computer. For this we are going to go into the internet first to download a software called CCleaner. The software can be downloaded from ccleaner.com. Okay, So my internet browser has started up and in the address bar I'm going to say www.ccleaner.com click enter and the ccleaner page loads up it is actually made by a company called Piriform which is why you see Piriform up there click on download scroll down and you'll see the download from Piriform click on that and if you wait a couple of seconds, you will get a prompt to save the software, or you might get this prompt as I have right now. I'm going to click that, click on download file, and I'm going to save this software in my temp folder on the C drive. So you see I clicked on my computer. I'm going to go to C, and I already have a temp drive, and I already have the file downloaded but I'm still going to click save and you might not get this prompt because you don't have that file already there so I'm going to just click yes and it'll start saving the file onto your computer so it might take a couple of seconds depending on your internet speed to download the software and it's going to do this I'm just going to sit here and wait till it's done all of that and after it has completed I'm going to click on run to start the software installation click run again click OK next I agree I'm going to leave all the default options this basically means it's going to drop a few icons on the desktop and automatically check for updated version of the software that's fine click next 
here just make sure that you uncheck this because sometimes it's either the Google toolbar or the Google Chrome browser so if you don't feel like installing it you can safely uncheck that and then click install and just give it a couple of seconds as the software is installed on your computer and when it's finished installing it'll give you an option to run CC Cleaner I'm just gonna leave it checked click finish and the program will ask you if you want to intelligently scan for cookies if you use Hotmail and Yahoo and Gmail just click yes on this one now that the program has opened up you'll get the main window of CCleaner and this is where we're going to delete the temporary files and some of the options that I want you to uncheck if it applies to you you see the recently typed URLs right there this is basically all the web address that you have actually typed into Internet Explorer or any other browser that you use to browse the Internet. So for most of uh, my clients and customers, I tend to leave this unchecked so they don't have to keep typing the URLs again. I'm going to leave everything else checked, including the empty recycle bin. This means if there are any files in the recycle bin on your computer, then that will also be permanently deleted please don't be in the habit of saving files in the recycle bin I have come across many users who do that that is just a really bad idea so now what I'm gonna do is click run cleaner you'll also notice the analyze button if you analyze it what the computer does is it kinda goes through and then prepares a list of software or files that it thinks it can be removed and you'll see this summary right here or you could just click run see cleaner or run cleaner and it'll say okay it's gonna warn you it's gonna permanently delete all the files if you don't want to see this warning again you can ch check the do not show me this message I'm gonna just click OK and it's removed and that's it this has now removed all the temporary files on the computer now for you this might be a really huge number right here it could be uh, 100 200 500 1 gig and so on and so forth and I've seen some users who've got really large number of temporary files that unfortunately were slowing their computer down and they didn't even realize it okay so this is how you delete the temporary files using CCleaner now I'm going to show you how to use the same software CCleaner to optimize the registry so click on the registry button you'll see all these options here checked I want you to uncheck unused file extensions and fonts uh, this is from experience I've uh, realized that it's not necessary to remove those things and you you may never know how this will uh, you know affect your computer so uncheck those two click on scan for issues it'll prepare a list of things um, a list of registry entries if you want to call it that that it thinks needs to be removed now normally all I do is I say fix selected issues you'll notice everything has been checked now the software prompts you to make a backup uh, before you do anything which is a good idea so click yes I'm gonna save it into my my documents with the default file name or I could remove that and I say backup or I say registry backup with today's date which is 12 7 2011 now this gives me an idea of when this backup is from so it's just for uh, you know helping me out in the future and then I'm gonna say fix all selected issues and that's it it's fixed 18 issues in this case it could be more or less for you click close and that's it Us using CCleaner you have now optimized your registry